Greetings, I finally reached grade 5 access with Felicity Farseer. All you need to do is make 3 grade 1 upgrades, 3 grade 2, 3 grade 3 and 3 grade 4 and you will have access to grade 5 mods. And here is my frameshot drive, no mods. This is my material gaining python because it has cargo space enough, it has firepower. Now it also will have a little bit better jump range, so here we are. Increased FSD range, yay, this is what you should aim for most ships. You can see the jump range is, but I'm fully loaded with, yeah, 157 tons of cargo. Strange wake solutions. Captured from high energy wakes with a wake scanner. You need to buy a wake scanner, assign it to fire group and scan high energy wakes left by NPCs, not players. I did not do that at all. I did missions because I needed polonium, I needed other resources and I was doing different missions and if I saw something I need, I did it. But my understanding is that you need to scan high energy wakes left by ships with big jump range like Asp Explorer, Anaconda, it's bigger chance to have something good if you scan those. If you know a way how to easily obtain strange wake solutions, please share. I did missions and by the way, chemical, manipulators, polonium, magnetic emitter coil, all can be obtained through missions. So you can do only missions and have enough materials for upgrading your frameshoot drive. And if you do missions, do several blueprints at the same time. Chemical manipulators, yeah, go and kill haulers. Or visit hundreds of signal sources and hope that you will find what you need. I would not advise you to do that. I usually use anarchy system because I don't want to become wanted myself. That's why I use anarchy, it doesn't matter where you kill and they don't have to be wanted. Any hauler will do. Higher level hauler will be better, also type 9s I think is best to get chemical manipulators. And if you don't like nav beacons, you can interdict type 9s and just kill them. Polonium, drive around planets. Metal rich, high metal content. If you don't find any polonium in one hour, probably you should switch planet. In two hours, definitely you should switch planets. Every resource needed for this blueprint you can obtain just by doing missions. You don't need to drive, you don't need to visit signal source, you don't need to kill. And if you plan to do missions, then remember that they are not so common. Sometimes you will see none of those, sometimes one, two, three, they will spawn like crazy. I had once two strange wake solutions at the same starport, then I completed one and saw polonium, so move around, don't stick to one place. And magnetic emitter coil you can buy at some markets, I think. I got mine from missions, usually missions give four of those, so it's plenty. And missions with this reward are quite common. Just remember always when you need to fetch some goods, because mission require, check eddb.io. You can find commodities nearby, you can see which blueprint commodities you can buy and where. It will save you a lot of time. So what's my jump range? 13.03 with full load of cargo as you can see. Let's upgrade. Let's see what I get. Optimized mass will be higher. Uh, yeah, well, 34%. Power draw less. I don't really care about power draw. Boot time, I don't care. Integrity, I don't care. Uh, mass, I don't care. 1%, I mean, it's nothing. So, 13.05. Ply, I don't have more materials. 17.40. You can see increase is quite... Big. It's 34% actually around that it is. And in example I can use this class 5 frameshoot drive on Python Asp Explorer Federal Assault Ship Clipper. So all you need is one upgrade for each class frameshoot drive and then you can swap them. Play safe commanders.